Hi, Soma Face Yogis. Allison here. Welcome to your Vegas Nerve Reset Soma Face Yoga class. Now, before we begin, just a little introduction for those Vegas nerds and the people who are not yet Vegas nerds, but soon to be. The Vegas Nerve is Cranial Nerve 10. It is the longest nerve in our body. It's called the wandering nerve, hence the word vagus. So this nerve travels from the base of the brainstem, innervates the muscles of the face, the ears, the throat, the heart, lungs, diaphragm, all the way to the belly or our gut. And this is essentially our gut-brain connection. The vagus nerve is the nerve that dominates the parasympathetic nervous system. And it is mostly made of afferent sensory nerves, which means that this vagus nerve travels from the brain through the body, the digestive system, down to the gut and relays messages from the body back up to the brain, creating our gut-brain connection. And this vagus nerve can be innervated or stimulated in order to produce a down-regulation response or the rest and digest response. So, Moving, movement, breath creates movement in the body as well. So moving the physical body, moving the body via breath, and moving your awareness through the zones that the vagus nerve innervates helps to stimulate this vagus nerve response. On top of the combination of embodied somatic practices in order to inspire the vagus nerve response. Now, the embodied somatic practices, hence soma face yoga, really target the three polyvagal zones, your gut, the free zone, your sympathetic zone, fight or flight, and the ventral vagal zone in the heart. So combining these elements together of vagus nerve stimulation through massage and face yoga exercises, as well as embodied somatic practices, this helps you to rewire your nervous system. Your nervous system has created your survival story to get you where you are today as the courageous and empowered being that you are. But sometimes our nervous system holds on to stories that we no longer need. For example, do you go into dorsal vagal mode, numb, depressed, lights are on but no one's home is a way of describing that deep down in the belly? Or do you often default to fight flight? Are you very on the defensive, always, have to be on the go, afraid to sit and be still safely. Adding these somatic practices to face exercises has changed the way I communicate with the world and relate to myself. And so many of my students are saying the same thing. So without further ado, let's begin our mini vagus nerve reset soma face yoga class. Come to a comfortable seated position. Feel the feet rooted to the ground, whatever surface that you're sitting on. Your sitting bones are evenly touching your chair or sofa or the ground. Let the spine extend just naturally without trying to find some stiff alignment, just let your spine support you as it does with all its spinal curves. And 
I ask you to keep the eyes open today for this practice. You might gaze right into my eyes or accentuate your peripheral vision as you gaze forward at me, the screen, and let your peripheral vision come into focus. Now cross one hand over the other and place it at your lower belly area. So just below the navel. You'll connect with feelings and sensations that are there right now. Take a little belly breath, so inflate the belly into the hands. Pause and exhale out the nose or the mouth. Just remain here a few moments as we connect with this super duper magical spot here, the gut holds so much information and provides neurotransmitters called, one of which called serotonin, which is the happy hormone. It is also the home, as I said before, of the freeze state, the freeze response to stress, anxiety, grief, anger. So going dormant, going asleep, playing dead. Connecting with this area here, just letting any feelings, sensations, emotions arise with the story that your nervous system has written in this area of your body. Witness it if there are strong feelings and emotions, sensations. Be with that. If there are none, then be with that as well. Every step we take in an embodied somatic practice is a step towards awareness and a deeper relationship with self. Take one more breath in and we'll exhale it out. Let's begin a vagus nerve massage. So finger and thumb will massage from the earlobes to the all around the cartilage, right to the top of the ears, and you'll do that again. And by massaging the ears, you are stimulating the vagus nerve response, which is the parasympathetic response of calming down regulation. Breathe in and exhale it out. Bring your awareness to your face, your spine, your body. Notice if you have any other feelings that are different than when we just began. Maybe your body feels more present. You might feel a little bit out of it. That's the down regulation response. And we'll massage one more time. So Pressing finger into the thumb, pulling the ears gently, just letting your breath move in and move out, noticing any tightness in the ears. Rarely think of your ears being tight, but notice it, what sensations are there as you move up and down, cartilage to earlobe. And release. You might notice that you're sighing or have a yawn or need to swallow. This is all part of the parasympathetic response, which is a good thing. Our next one will be a little ear pull. So from behind the ear, we're going to pull gently back and up. So both sides at the same time, just with the two piece fingers pulling back and up. The eyes close or keep them open. Whatever feels more comfortable for your nervous system. This gentle pressure, opening the fascial tissues, the muscles and any constrictions there and accessing the vagus nerve and Do that one more time. So back and up, relaxing the shoulders, 
The jaw is relaxed. All the muscles of your face are relaxed and at ease. Release the hands. We'll move to a brow exercise for the brows and the eyes. You'll take the base of the palms and bring them right at the temple. So where the skull meets the soft part, temple, and you'll pull away and up. Shoulders relax. Now close the eyes and squeeze the eyeballs in towards each other and towards the back of your skull. Relax the jaw and draw the tongue to the palate. We will hold this action dynamically. Notice if you're pulling one brow higher than the other, if there's tension in the eyes, keep drawing them towards each other, towards the back of your skull, relaxing the shoulders, tongue to palate, release all of that. Scan your face, your mind, your body for new feelings and new sensations. However simple or complex they may be. We'll do that again. So base of palms at the temple, brow press, so pull apart and up. Draw the eyelids down and move the corners of the eyes towards each other, tongue to palate. Pressing the head into the hands and the hands back into the head. Wiping away any stories written on your forehead, around your eyes, so you could express more fully. And we'll do that one more time. So base of palms to temple, shoulders released, elbows wide, root through the sitting bones, feet rooted to the surface they're on. Press the eyes down, so you're pulling the eyebrows upward as the eyelids are trying to close and root in. So a dynamic action for the eyes. Tongue to palate will awaken the throat and the vagus nerve is innervated there. And we'll also tone and lift under the chin and neck. Exhale, letting any stress, anxiety, just be mechanically removed from your body as we do these exercises and the body responds, the nervous system responds in a reflexive way to these actions to calm your nervous system. Our next exercise is for the mouth and the side of the chin, what we call jowls. So we will come into a big O, curl the lips around the teeth, smile as if you're trying to smile. <clears throat> Corners of mouth move to the molars behind you and stick out the tongue. Let's do it all together. O. And release. So knuckle knead on the sides of the chin, uplifting the face, innervating all the facial muscles, toning the neck 
mouth and specifically the lower jaw. Let's do that again. Big O, curl, smile, open, tongue, release and scan your body bring your awareness to the lower belly notice any sensations there feelings emotions colors things that your brain can't put words to or rationalize because it's a lived experience in your body we'll do the lip tongue press with side chin knuckle knead one more time big o Release. And our final exercise for this class is a lymphatic drainage. Now, if you look for this sternocleidomastoid muscle, SCM, near trapezius, and I call this diamond pulses. So we're going to go right here, stimulating the lymph nodes in the neck, as well as the vagus nerve. Now, some people like to place their hands here. I like to cross my arms, one in front of the other. Now, the touch is very gentle for lymphatic drainage. So, you might already notice if you're practicing now that you're swallowing, your voice is getting more deep, you're feeling a little more like there are stars and birds spinning around you. That is the parasympathetic response doing its thing. So come to this little diamond area and we'll pulse, gentle pulse. Little touch pulling downward. And just relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. We're going to do about 30 seconds. You can do this several times a day, as much as you want, or if you notice and release that your face is puffy, that you have a stuffed up nose or uh, some lung congestion, this is also a great exercise to do. We'll do this one more time finding the little diamond shape between SCM and trapezius and tiny little pulses. In about 30 seconds, I'm timing for you, so no need to count. Palpating your body, giving yourself some TLC, being aware of your posture and any extraneous expressions that your facial muscles are moving into. Just notice you can keep a neutrality and state of relaxed muscles. And last one. And from here, as if you have cool water that you're splashing over your face. And Cross your hands, bring them to your belly. If you have any stress, going through a period of stress in your day, in your week, all those things, stress, anxiety, hyperactivity, anger, deep sadness, take a moment and do a little ear massage, one of the Soma face yoga exercises. Bring your hands to your lower belly. And without trying to rationalize your way out of the state that you're in, just let your body mechanically bring you into a deeper parasympathetic state.
Thank you for joining me here and I hope to see you soon for more Soma Face Yoga.